this passage right here, I think, is just a, such a great, um, great preliminary um, leading to Christmas, to what Christmas really is. And uh, this is what Zacharias says about Jesus. He says this um, in Luke 1, verse 78. He says, Because of God's tender mercy, the morning light from heaven is about to break upon us to give light to those who sit in darkness and in the shadow of death and to guide us to the path of peace. And uh, I love what Jay just said about how where there's light, um, that, it just, that it just spreads, that it literally consumes. And uh, especially that we um, can be a part of spreading that light, that we can reflect God's glory here on earth. Okay, how we ended up um, at the barn is um, I was vacuuming this summer and uh, just jamming out to some worship tunes and uh, thinking about how last year how God blessed our Bible study and uh, how it went from a small coffee shop to uh, my apartment and uh, how it just grew and uh, I was like it would be awesome to meet in a barn and just have a completely different feel than anything. Last summer um, Orion Carlson he uh, called me on the phone he said, Reed, I have an idea of a barn. It's kind of in my head, and I was like, you know, that's sweet. I don't know how we're going to do it. But, uh, you know, and then Ryan came back here to Grand Valley and uh, went out um, about 20 minutes later, um, had a barn, and here we are. So it's pretty cool. God really, God really blessed us with it. One weekend, I just prayed really quick, uh, hopped in the car with another kid, and we went out uh, barn shopping, except we had no cash, of course. We were shopping, I guess, on God's credit card. I like to joke around, and he's got a pretty good-sized credit card. So um, we stopped at one house, like, way out in the boonies, sticks and stones. We probably couldn't be here tonight on a snowy night like tonight. And uh, she's like, no, you know, this barn, my barn's really small, messed up, but uh, why don't you go check out that away? So we headed this way and we're like, man, we're really close to school. I don't think this is gonna work out. And we kind of, as a last glance on our way back to school, saw this barn. And I was like, hmm. Should we do it or should we not? So we turned back around and came here and uh, we met Tony who owns the barn and said, hey, look, we're, um, we're just looking to seek God's will and um, get some leaders together and pray. Uh, could we use your barn? And of course, he asked me if I was uh, born again and said, sure, you know, me and my wife will pray about it and here we are today, so. One way is just developing relationships where it's not just gathering together and having a good time, it's growing with them to Him and it's just incredible. And um, you know, everyone's here when we need them. So if one of us is going through a valley, then someone else is on the top of the hill and He has so provided that for us and it's been amazing. And I've had to go through a recent valley myself. and. The whole entire time he had this here for me, perfect timing of course. So he just, 
I don't know, glory be to him because he has it all worked out and he's good in it and he's doing some amazing things here. I'm a completely new person. I, people back home don't even recognize my personality anymore. I went back home for, to one of my churches and one of the pastors came up and was like, you know, over this past month, I've really seen you mature as like a man, both spiritually, emotionally, physically, I've always been ahead of the curve on that. But emotionally and physically, I've just been happier. Like for no reason, I'll just be walking, I'll catch myself smiling. It's like, that's not me at all. I'm the one that harbors inner hatred all the time. And it's just, it's almost gone. And like before I got here, I was addicted to pornography like really badly. And almost as soon as I started coming, it just stopped. Just the power of God just swept right through me. It's just really brought my relationship with God to the forefront in a lot of ways because you know, every week we're out here and it's, it's an awesome time and we learn something new every week. You are my strong tower.